start bending our hoop and uh, we're going to start with the smallest piece first, the uh, 625 by 5 8 wall piece of tube. We are going to mark one inch increments on the tube and then we'll start the bending. Okay, after we have our one inch marks on here, we're going to take the bender, find a place in the trailer to, or find a place that you can uh, set this thing in. It just sets in there. What we do is we line up our marks with the, uh, on the bender here. Then as we bend the tube, as it goes down, you want to line it up with the handle because the tubing has a tendency to curl as it goes through. So don't use these dots as any kind of indication just how deep to put it in there for each pen. And we just start, we just give it a little tweak as we go through. And whenever you pick the tube up to lay it on the on the line there. To, to match your arc, just, just put a little mark so you know where you ended. Let's see which one we ended on, so we just go to the next one. And say, as it goes through, watch the handle. Make sure it stays going straight. Because you can rotate it this way and make your adjustments. That's, that's our top section. We'll have cut it off to length later on. And that's the top section. We'll work on another section in a few minutes. So we're going to take our six foot tube of 750 and cut it in half. Three feet. For this we just use a cheapy cutoff saw. With a fine tooth finishing blade, um, carbide blade. Okay, for the 750 and the 875 sections of the cage, we use the, uh, another Gerber bender. This one is three quarter thin wall and one half rigid. Gerber bender number 931. And it's just the same procedure. Line up your one inch marks with the edge of this uh, part of the bender here. And just start bending. Watching as it goes through that it stays lined up with the handle so it lays nice and flat. Uh, don't, again, do not use these marks 
to keep it straight because the tube will twist as it goes through the bender. And just start. Pick it up, put a mark so you know where you end it. It's good up to here now, it's bending way too much. We'll have to take some of that out. up so you stay straight so it doesn't end up twisted. That's good. It lays pretty flat. Then after a while, this tube will Slip right in the end of there. And uh, get a good start going on your on your hoop here. I'm gonna do that. And we'll do the same thing, we'll bend it piece of 875, 58 thou wall. We'll cut it in half and we'll make two halves that way. For our one inch bottom section, I already have the one inch increments lined up on here, on the tube. And here we use Gerber Bender, Gerber Bender number, or Gardner Bender, number 912, one inch thin wall or three quarter inch rigid. And it's the same procedure. I had you order four feet of one inch aluminum for the bottom section. I want you to bend the whole thing and not worry too much about the ends because we're going to cut the ends off in assembly later. So what we want is a nice smooth arc, you know, along, along about 30, 32 inches of it. And on, on this piece, be especially careful that it stays straight so it lays flat because this one is really hard to get any twist out if, if it gets a twist in it. piece is the most critical to get very close to being on that line. You really got to watch out for twist on this one. Try and take a little bit of that out. You can uh, 
put a curve like this to get some of this twist out. It's a little tricky. There, that lays flat already. What we're worried about is uh, on your plans you'll have a have lines where the the radial tubes come down in the center section. We want to go out an inch past those. So you're worried about a section of this tube between this mark here and this mark here. That's where the uh, radial tubes are going to meet this tube. And your one inch piece is your most critical, right around the bottom there. And this is this looks very good. We will cut that off later after we get our center section of the cage built. And here we have half of our cages is built over half of our cage. 